just gonna go in the doctor. It's gonna be okay. I know you're really scared. And um, he's just gonna open your mouth and he'd say, ah, and you can look and see if your tonsils are okay. And then he's gonna look in your ear and hopefully there won't be any elephants or anything weird in there, honey. And then he's gonna do this thing where he hits you with the hammer on your knee and it tests your reflexes. Okay, we're ready for you. Come on back. Let's go, sweetheart. Good it's work, okay, son. you don't have to be scared. Go. Go! <laughs> okay. First, we're gonna look in your ears and make sure everything's okay. Check your eyes. Now say, ah. Okay, <laughs> we'll check that later. All right, now we're going to test your sensory neurons. Tell me what you learned in school today. I skipped school today. <laughs> Great! A reflex arc is the simplest type of nerve circuit. This leads to an automatic response called a reflex. A typical reflex arc consists of three neurons, the sensory, the interneuron and the motor neuron. For example, when Dr. Sophie topped Andrew's leg with the hammer, Andrew responded with the kick. This specific reflex is known as the patella reflex. Sensory neurons in Andrew's knee detected the top and conveyed the action potential to the interneurons located in the spinal cord. The interneurons then communicate with motor neurons, which tell the muscles in Andrew's thigh to contract. This results in the kick. This type of nerve circuit is faster because it allows motor neurons to respond to stimuli without having to pass information on to the brain first. So, if Andrew were to accidentally put his hand on a hot stove, not saying that he would, but in theory, he would be able to move his hand very quickly to avoid burning himself too badly.